All right, Imran, we're going to give that spoiler alert for Multiverse of Madness. Doctor Strange 2 is here. We haven't even talked about it yet in our show. It's going to be about an hour from now. So you're, get, you're getting us warmed up for our episode with this. This is a special treat for our Patreon patrons. This is a special treat to any viewer that's watching us on Twitch right now. What I'd love to hear from you, Imran, if you could give us a, a little bit of a spiel on what you thought of this movie. Doctor Strange is back. The last time we saw him was Spider-Man No Way Home. Tell us about what this movie experience was for you, and we'd love to have a rating from you. We use a 4.0 scale, but we'll happily convert for whatever you want to use. All right, 4.0. I could, you know, I can I could do the math. I'll pull out my calculator. <laughs> so how we do it? We're talking full spoilers. Full Should spoiler be- alert. Spoilers. You have the full spoilers. green light. I want to dive oh, right. I want to yes, dive please. right in. All right. All right. Look, going in, there was a lot of hype to this movie, right? Obviously, you can't help but have read all the cameos, all the rumors. Like I was being fed information from a listener of ours who's in a Facebook group with a supposed Hollywood insider. He's feeding me these (laughs) giant rumor dumps. And I'm like, ah, I don't know if I should read this, Uh, but I read it and most of it was bullshit. Uh, So I'm glad to report. (laughs) But I was like, man, if this all this stuff happens, this movie is crazy. But based on what happens in the movie, the hype, the marketing, it's very interesting going into this. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed the movie. I had a lot of fun with the movie. Seeing Sam Raimi's visual style back on the big screen was probably the best thing out of this movie. What a treat. What a creative, like, uh, you know, he's got his bag of tricks. And yeah, he uses them a lot. We've seen them a lot, but they're great. They're great when he pulls out that swoopy point of view camera or the quick jump scares, right? So, <laughs> you know, much like, uh, you know, I think he set a nice feel for the Doctor Strange franchise moving forward. A lot of like what uh, Taika Waititi has done with Thor, James Gunn has done with Guardians. Like, I wouldn't be mad uh, if he gets a third movie, right? Yep. So overall, fun performances, good performances. Danny Elfman doing the music, great visuals. I enjoyed it. However... On the other side of that enjoyment, here we go. I think the writing, <laughs> the writing is probably was probably the week was it was it wasn't weak. It was hampering. There was certain choices, certain holes that hampered the movie and marketing. Interestingly, misleading, because uh, I thought I did not think going in Wanda mm-hmm. was going to be the big bad, right? the big bad. Yes, Right. The- I don't think anybody. I think they made it seem like there was another threat there. Yeah. Yes, they did. But this was a team up of sorts right i absolutely thought that so clever on their part yes that was a good subversion of that however the trailers also made it seem like this movie was going to be a little more substantial i think for the mcu moving forward than it actually was Mm -hmm. you know i so multiverse of madness i could have used a couple more multiverses a little more madness basically yeah i agree with that yeah you know it was there uh, I don't know if you've seen. There's a movie out there called Everything, uh, Everywhere, All at Once. Is it, it, have you guys seen? I it? mean, you just it? you just tapped right into. This is how we're yeah. on the same page, Emron. You just tapped into our show program. It's going to be one of the first titles we talk about in what you watch. And I'll go ahead and give a spoiler alert for, alert for that too. And tell. Well, us I'm what, not going to spoil that. That's I okay. Hate, but this that one you need experience. I don't. That's true. Spoil that Actually, don't spoil it because yeah, I haven't. No, I haven't seen no it. So no. <laughs> the only thing I will say is they handle. That's a multiverse of madness. Like Ooh, that boy. title works for that movie. Just they handle it a little bit with more substance and thoughtfulness than this movie. But fun movie. Love seeing Benedict back in the role. You know, he's so good as this character uh-huh. and just kind of how you learn that he's kind of a shit show in every universe. It's fantastic. Yeah, I love and I love how they brought the a lot back from that first movie. You had the you had the doctor that he worked with there with him in yeah, the, wedding, the wedding, calling yeah, him out yeah. like world's best surgeon, world's best superhero. I yeah. love Christine Palmer just that I mean, I love you in every multiverse. That's the line. That's great. Right? Yeah. You probably enjoyed that yeah. quite a bit. Yeah. Yeah, their chemistry's a little, I don't know, like the actor's chemistry's a little iffy, but I yeah. I thought they could I kind of felt like her and Mordo did get a little sidelined. Uh, let's just get to the big thing. All right. The yeah. cameos, what the cameos we got. That was, I love that scene. It was insanity. It was disturbing. And you did not expect them to be murdered in such fashion. And boy, <laughs> was that good to watch. Oh yeah. Yeah. Was Scott, that fun? Scotty scoop brought up a good point. I mean, not with, try not to give any spoilers here without talking specifics, but have you seen invincible? Yeah. Right. You yes, see what yes. I'm saying? So it's very 
opening of the end of the first episode right uh, man bit so yeah, great subversion sure. of that so I'm, yeah that is something that, you know i they, i know they changed around a lot of the cameos in the reshoots and there's supposed to be some other people um but that was great and honestly i think uh elizabeth olsen damn near steals this whole movie yeah like pretty much almost every scene she's in i loved her performance in this yeah, you missed, you mentioned like the wishy washy kind of feeling with some of the actors. I feel like uh, uh, Wanda's character, you know, that that was the one where I was like, okay, she showed up for this. Yeah, she anchored that movie for sure. And what's mm-hmm. surprising is Sam Raimi had did not has not watched all of WandaVision. He said it in an interview. They showed him just a few important moments. Uh, and so what does he do? He tells he goes to Elizabeth Olsen. And he let her take control of her character and put her where she needs to be because she, you know. She's the one that's been on the journey and he didn't even get to see the whole show, but mm. it still worked. Yeah, man. So good. Love hearing your thoughts on it. Those cameos are crazy. I think I was a little shocked to see that the Illuminati just gets massacred in like one literally afternoon. Yeah. Um, it, yeah. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's hilarious and disturbing, yeah. but you know, it does set the stage that these, characters exist in these multiverses that was that yeah it was definitely like the marvel mood of like showing here here's what we can do right here's a little taste all right so now we can do anything i mean straight up fan casting in you know for reed richards i know right krasinski's in there they just went for it they're like we're gonna do it and we're gonna kill him uh but they've established that the characters in the multiverse can look like exactly like each other or look completely different yeah this Mm -hmm. leaves it open to just, I mean, I think they should recast the entire X Men. Give us a new X Men cast from scratch. Yeah, man, definitely. I, I jumped in a lot. Any questions from you, Giggler, for Imran on Multiverse oh of Madness or any any uh, shout outs there? Um, let's see. First off, great to see you again. Last time we did this, it was we were all on Zoom. Yep. So yes, it was pandemic time. That, still, that's Heavy what's deep. crazy. But um, we gotta hear your rating. Yeah, let's All dive right, right that's, in that's, and get that's that. What I want to let's know. get multiverse of rating uh, from okay. Imran. Okay, overall thoughts. And that's the thing is I enjoyed the movie. I thought it could have been bigger. They could have pushed it a little. Great. The, the, the ending was a little rushed. What's your biggest like, what's your biggest problem with the movie? Man, I I would oh man, that's good. I don't know. <laughs> I guess a little more characterization. For America Chavez also would have helped. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like they should like, like they barely they just they were like Carrie said it, my fiance, she said, you know, I guess they asked this girl mainly, like, can you run really well? Yeah. <laughs> can you can you do Tom Cruise running on screen? I mean, she's 14 <laughs> years old, right? So she did a great job at 14. Yes. Uh, but she's gonna be important. What an important power to have. Like we put her in the young Avengers. That is a useful superpower, right? Oh, there. yeah. We're coming up on that for sure. Yeah. So Okay, if you're going to do it out of four, uh, I will give it. Oh, man. How does that break down? Uh, go, go with your gut. Whoa, I'm going to have to go like. Just ah, what, what is your normal two. rating system? Because I have a conversion I, chart. Whoa, it's out of 10. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. I'm taking way too long. Go ahead. Out of, okay, out of 10, I gave it a seven and a half. What is that? That's like under 34. You give it a three. Three oh, point three. Oh, yeah. It's probably like a okay. three point no. one two five. OK, yeah, that's where an overall. That's a like, good, I'm going to give it up. That's a great score. Yeah, there. that's good. Yeah. And, and yeah. I mean, it's 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 right in the middle of like all There's 28 Marvel movies for us. Which is that three point oh becomes a pr- kind of a threshold of sorts, you okay. know, where okay. like, you know, if you made it over the hump, you know, you're OK. But if you're right at the three, you just kind of cruised. And if you're in the twos, some things kind of had some problems. You've lost your scholarship. And we've only had one on the show ever. And it was my fiance rating Morbius. <laughs> All right. I buy that. I can see where that comes from. <laughs> this is like converting to the metric system. I don't know why it's so hard for me. Uh, but uh, uh, no. Yeah, that it's uh, out of the 28 Marvel movies. I will put it like right in the middle. Uh, but probably one of my more favorites of this recent phase four. The theater experience is great. Nothing will ever top the experience of Spider-Man No Way Home. Yeah. And Endgame. Yep. You know, and I don't know if I should have walked in expecting that, but I definitely had more joy in No Way Home, which is just joyful. Yeah, that's it. You know, whenever uh, that's what it is for me. I mean, I heard your guys episode on Spider-Man No Way Home. You guys did a fantastic job, of course. But man, what a nerd fest. Just those magical yeah. feels 70 percent of the time. I'm yeah. with you. I didn't feel that in this one. I was wowed at the views and the what was happening. And I'm it was almost like I when it is over. I'm excited for what comes next. 
Well, let me ask you guys real quick this question. Are the cameos getting a little too fan servicey and a little too not just thrown in for no reason to for you guys? I'm going to go to Steven Walden. Um, I don't think so. Um, I was shocked by it. Um, I don't know. I'm you you said earlier, you know, that you feel so fortunate to live in the golden age. And I'm I have that thought a lot. I have a lot of gratitude when I already see these movies because I mean, I remember growing up on nicholas hammond spider-man with the one oh my god me too i have that on vhs tape and the thing that kids don't know what it is and to me the the deadly dust you know here's the message there kids don't build atomic bombs it'll hurt your your friends um (laughs) but uh but that and the red brown captain america things like that yeah and for me to nitpick and to bitch about that stuff it's just like fucking enjoy what you got man it's like it is really Mm -hmm. good now that's that's me you know not to take away anybody else's on it but for me it's like I, I, there were two times when I jumped up and not jumped up. I sat forward uh, in an excited manner and said, yeah. Uh, And one was with uh, Krasinski as Reed. Yeah. And the other was the hit of the nineties X-Men cartoon when we saw Professor X's uh, hover chair. The yellow hovered up in the classic nineties hover chair. Dropping the line from X-Men. Yeah. Days of Future Past. He says that to him. Younger self. Max McAvoy. No, I got vocal. I got vocal at Bruce Campbell. And people were like, oh, yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Loved it. It's over. (laughs) The the evil dead throwback with the the hand attacking himself. I loved it. And a friend of mine. If you are a Sam Raimi fan, you know that you've been waiting for that. I was waiting for that. Yeah. (laughs) A friend of mine who's a he's loved Sam Raimi and he saw strange. He was like, I liked it, but I felt like that a lot of Sam Raimi's evil dead stuff to evil dead stuff was gratuitous. And we've seen it before. And I had to say, pump the brakes, man. We have to think about people who are seeing this are not our age who have no fucking clue. No, exactly. They they didn't see (laughs) evil dead 20 times on the superstation in one day. You know, like we know like there, because I had someone who was, you know, probably 15 years younger than me, you know, we're probably all someone's friend who has to call to like explain what happened on this episode of Gotham. <laughs> Who's this person or whatever? <laughs> I'm that guy for a lot of my friends. And she was like, um, you know, I don't I didn't understand the thing with the guy with the hand and it beating him up. And I had to explain, <laughs> oh, he was I've seen that movie where he's fighting his hand. Yeah, so. I thought it worked even just like I, I'm not really that familiar. It worked on its own for me. I was yeah, like, this yeah, is yeah, great. Bruce Campbell's just punch, punching himself at a hot dog stand. <laughs> love right. it. Yes, I love it. Pizza balls. Yeah, stand. pizza balls. Pizza oh, pizza balls, right. Yeah. Those count, look delicious. Count me in for yeah, pizza we, balls. 